All right, the last part of 6.7 is we got this remainder theorem stuff. So if we have the polynomial and we've divided it by, in other words, if we can use synthetic division, then the function P of whatever C was, the opposite, right, of this, um, that's going to equal whatever the remainder is. So you can put an R there if you want. That may or may not make sense right now. Let's go and look at it with an example. So for example, on this one, uh, given this polynomial as a function, and given, that, given the C value, which is 2, use the remainder theorem to find P of C. In other words, we would be dividing this polynomial by uh, X minus 2. I mean, you don't have to know that right now, or really ever. Because it just gave us the value of C, which is what always goes in the box, 2. Now, the, the end result of this is going to be P of 2, right? Because we're just replacing C with X. Which means that if we replaced all the X's with C, we could find this maybe faster, maybe slower, I don't know. But it did want us to use synthetic division, so we have a coefficient of X cubed, which is 1. So I have 1. 5, negative 4 are my coefficients. Then I have my constant, which is negative 6. I'm going to drop the 1, which is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Negative 14, uh, sorry, negative 4 plus 14 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. And negative 6 plus 20 is 14. So this is our remainder right here. Meaning that P of 2 would be 14. So what this is really telling us is that if I replaced all my X's in the equation with 2, I would get 14. Let's, let's look at that, right? So P of 2 would be X cubed, and we're saying right now that X is 14. Let's go ahead. And, I'm sorry, 2. Now, 14 is supposed to be the answer, right? So x is supposed to be 2. Let's cube that. We're going to add that to 5 times x, which is 2, which we're going to square, minus 4 times x, which is 2, and then we'll subtract 6. If we do this, then we should get 14, right? So let's see what that gives us. So 2 cubed is 8. Then I've got plus 5 times 2 squared, which is 4. And then minus 4 times 2, which is 8. And then minus 6. So 8, I'm sorry, 5 plus 4. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. 5, plus, five times 4 is 20. So 8 plus 20 minus 8 minus 6. And that does indeed give us the 14. So yeah, you could do the work both ways. But it did say to use that remainder theorem. In the homework, it will say explicitly to use synthetic division, which is what we did. Again, is it faster? I don't know. I like calculators.